Cake by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Cake had just received an exciting invitation. He'd never been to a party before, so he didn't know what to expect. But he was sure about one thing. He wanted to look his best. Fish didn't know what Cake should wear. He'd never been to a party either. Hmm, said Fish. Nope, I don't think so. <gasps> what about a hat? Suggested Fish. Good thinking, said Cake. So off Cake went to buy a hat. Cake tried on lots of hats in the shop. But none of them were quite right. Is it for a special occasion? asked the shop assistant. A wedding perhaps? No, said Cake. A party. Oh, said the shop assistant. In that case, I've got just the thing. And he disappeared out the back. Here you go, sir, said the shop assistant. You'll be irresistible in this. Thank you very much, said Cake. He couldn't wait to get home and show Fish his new hat. Are you ready? Cake called from his bathroom. Ta-da! You've cracked it, shouted Fish. Cake was soon on his way to the party, dressed in his new hats. Dee 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 dee, I'm off to a party to have some fun. Cake was a bit nervous when he arrived. But when everyone saw him, they cheered. <gasps> Cake's here, a party isn't a party without Cake. And in he went. Cake was having so much fun at the party. There was dancing and lots of games. But then the singing started. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cake was getting a very bad feeling about this. Oh, crumbs. Suddenly, there was a gust of wind and everything went black. There was a smell of raspberries and Cake felt a wibbly wobbly hand grab hold of his. And a wibbly wobbly voice said, quick. Run for it, Cake! The end.